So before you even watch this video, make sure you go ahead and click the subscribe button. We're not gonna talk about my head because I don't want to mess. Just subscribe. I'm gonna give it to y'all. Lord, I, Lord, I'm not a bad guy, so why they gotta do me wrong? My loyalty too strong if you call on me out on the phone. I always ask my mama, like, what am I doing wrong? Uh -huh. You couldn't even walk a mile in my shoes if I took them off. There you go. These Christian little bit times know the way that I'm getting. here this is a video about my second miscarriage so i hope you guys enjoy it um this it took me a really long time to get the courage to make this video because i had miscarriages back to back i literally got pregnant had a miscarriage three months later got pregnant again not knowing until the day of my period it wasn't even planned at that point got pregnant again and uh had another miscarriage all in less than six months and so it's been a year since my first miscarriage and it's been five months and a few weeks since my second miscarriage but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you keep watching okay so i am one of those people that have to like track everything like i check my periods my ovulation days my bowel movements my um mood swings my cravings i literally track everything because i know that if the slightest thing is off something's wrong either i'm pregnant or i'm getting sick or just something else is going on and so the day my period was supposed to start um something told me to take a pregnancy test i was like okay i was like my body feels so weird like i don't know why i'm feeling like this but i know my body so i'm gonna go take a test so i took a test and it came back positive and um I was so happy because three months ago from this day, I actually had a miscarriage, my first miscarriage. And I was pretty bummed about that, but I kept moving forward. And I'm getting pregnant again, which is the day that we're on. And so I was trying to tell my fiance, babe, we're pregnant again. So my mom was like, mom, I'm pregnant. I think this is gonna be my rainbow baby. Like most people only have one miscarriage or so I thought. Um, I think this is gonna be the baby. Like I'm so excited, like I'm planning already. Like I just went out pregnant the same day. But I, I just, I don't know, something that I've been wanting for a long time. And so I'm telling my mom, and she's happy for me. She's planning too. We're both excited. We're like, okay, this is going to be the baby. Like, yes, finally. It came faster than we thought. And then um, two weeks goes by, and I am in week six. And it's a Friday, and um, I'm just out over the place. Like, not, like, mood-wise, but well, kind of. Like, I'm in a cleaning mode. Like, I'm in this everything has to be perfect for some reason like i don't know why I, i'm not really like that but everything has to be perfect like i'm in this mode like this needs to be done this needs to be done this needs to be done oh that's not perfect this i pillow da, 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 i'm in that perfect mode and so i go to sleep i wake up the next day i go pee and i see brown discharge and i know that brown discharge is just uh dry or older blood that was in your system that comes out and so i know automatically when i see brown discharge my period is going to come on so I told my fiance, I'm like, babe, I think I'm about to have a miscarriage. And he's just like, why you say that? And I'm like, because I got a brown discharge. And I only get that when my period's about to come on. This is why I track. And he was just like, no, babe, I think you're fine. Like, you know, just don't think about it. Like, everything will be fine. I'm like, okay. So I go back to the bathroom and there's more brown discharge. I'm like, okay, forget what you say. Take me to the hospital so we can get the baby looked at. Because we're six weeks. Last time, my last miscarriage, I lost my baby at six weeks and two days or three days. And so I'm like, I'm already worried. Like, I'm already panicking because I'm like, oh, my God, like, I cannot go through another miscarriage. Like, I'm not going to make it through it. And so um, we go to the hospital, and they do an ultrasound, and they say that discharge is perfectly normal, and my baby has a heartbeat of 115 or 125, something with a five at the end. And they say, um you know just go home and relax and rest and i'm not having a miscarriage everything looks good not to worry not to stress and i'm like okay so about three hours after you know everything going on in the hospital we leave and we're headed to my uncle jason's house and um we're driving there it's like an hour 30 minutes away from our from the hospital we're driving there and i just feel like very moist in my underwear like i'm sorry if this is tmi but it's a miscarriage video i feel very um uh, moist in my underwear and I'm just like, hey, babe, like, something doesn't feel right. Like, this feels like something is coming out of me. And he's just like, babe, we just left the hospital. Everything's going to be fine. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you're right. You know, everything's fine. The baby's fine. 
everything looks good. The baby has a heartbeat. Like, the baby didn't have a heartbeat, so maybe this is the baby. So I get to my Uncle Jason's house, and it, it's like, it's a, a lot more moist than what it was when we were in the hospital when we were on the way there. Like, it's just everywhere now. So I go to the bathroom, and I pull my pants down, my underwear down, and I am just, like, flowing with blood everywhere. Blood is just everywhere. And so I'm in the bathroom, and I'm like, oh, my God, like, this cannot be happening. I am not having another miscarriage. I am not having another miscarriage. And so I go to... I go out the bathroom and at this point I'm bawling. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm having another miscarriage. Like they just told me everything was fine. They confirmed the heartbeat. The last baby to have a heartbeat. Like I, this is supposed to be my baby. Like what's going on? And my aunt's like, you need to go to the hospital. And I'm like, I know. Like I'm having a miscarriage. Like I cannot go through this again. Like my heart was so broke. Like I knew, I knew in my heart. I felt it in my heart and in my gut. I was having a miscarriage. So we're like driving 100 and something on the freeway, rushing me to the hospital because at this point I'm hunched over, I'm in pain, blood is just falling out of me like fucking water, freaking water, sorry for my language. And um, I call my mom because she, she didn't make it to my uncle's house yet. I'm like, mom, like I'm going to the hospital, I'm bleeding. I said, I think I'm having a miscarriage. And my mom, she's like, oh no. And right when she said that, I just started bawling some more. Cause I'm just like, no, like, this is supposed to be the baby. Like, this cannot happen. Like, this is supposed to be the baby. This is supposed to be the baby that I've been waiting for. Like, I just had a miscarriage. I just had a miscarriage three months ago. Why is this happening to me again? Why? So we get to the hospital, and I'm telling them, like, I'm, I'm bawling still. I'm crying. Jakari's trying to calm me down, my fiance. And I'm just like, I just came here three, four hours ago, five hours ago. I had an ultrasound done, they confirmed my baby's heartbeat, but now I'm bleeding and I'm hurting so bad. I'm bleeding a lot. So they gave me a pad to put on and they took me to the took me to the back and they're like, We're gonna do a um vaginal exam on you. I'm like, Okay. And so they said, We're gonna check and see if your cervix is closed. So as they're doing this exam, blood clots are blood clots are falling out of me and into the trash can. Blood is everywhere and they told me Everything is fine. Your cervix looks good. It's closed. I don't know what's going on, but you're going to be okay. Don't stress. Your baby's okay. And I'm like, okay, why am I hurting? Why am I bleeding? Like, we don't know. Like, go see your OBGYN. I'm like, okay. At this point, I'm mad. Because I'm like, I know I'm having a miscarriage, and you telling me everything is fine. Like, your blood clot could be the baby. I'm only six weeks. Like, what do you mean? And so, um, we leave, and I go home, and I wake up the next morning, and I am, like, hurting like i am in so much pain like i can i couldn't stand up my back was hurting my pelvis was hurting i was just hunched over like i couldn't sleep i couldn't eat i was just so sad and depressed because i knew i was losing my baby i knew that i was having another miscarriage all in less than six months and so i make a point with my OBGYN. they can't see me till monday i go in monday we get an ultrasound done and and they and uh, after that i go they, they send me to the room and my OBGYN comes out, and she's just like, I am so sorry. And when she said that, I just knew in my heart that I had lost my baby. And I just knew that I like, I was just losing it. Like, I, I felt it in my heart. I felt like, guys, when I say I felt it in my heart, I felt it in my soul that that baby was gone the moment I started seeing Brown discharge that Saturday morning. I knew I had lost that baby. I knew I was going to that baby. I knew it. I just freaking knew it, but I didn't want to believe it. And it just it just hurt my heart so much more because I went to the hospital and they told me twice that everything is going to be okay, that the baby's going to be okay, the baby is healthy, the baby has a heartbeat, your cervix is closed, don't worry, don't stress, just go home and relax. And the next, and for me to go to the OBGYN and they told me, and they come in saying, I'm so sorry. She said, I'm so sorry we were really rooting for you because we know how bad you wanted the baby. Like, I feel like my, my, my soul had just left my body. Like, I, I'm like, I'm trying not to cry now because it's just like, dang, like, to relive this moment over again. And, like, with both, my, with both of my pregnancies, they asked me, they're like, do you want your, you know, your pictures of your baby? And I was just like, no, I can't, I cannot take these pictures because it's, it's going to hurt. It's going to break me. I'm going to cry. Like, I cannot. Like, I literally just had a miscarriage three months ago, and now I'm having another one again all in less than half a year. All in less than six months. Like, what the hell is going on? And so at that point, I just lost it. I was like, I can't do this no more. Like, I'm, I'm giving up because I, I can't go through another miscarriage. Like, this, this is so freaking painful. 
Like, that is so much to happen in less than six months. Like, I literally got pregnant back to back and had miscarriages back to back. Like, my heart, like, my heart to this day is, it's not broken, broken, but it still kind of is. I got a soft spot, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, that's just how I lost my baby. And I think, like, out of both my miscarriages, my biggest regret was not taking those photos. Because despite the baby not making it or having a human figure yet, like, it was, it's still a baby, you know what I'm saying? And it's my first, my first two, two. <laughs> so it's just, like, I don't know, my heart was just broke. Like, I don't know if anybody's ever been through a situation where they're told, like, everything's going to be fine, you're not in labor, everything's going to be fine, your service is closed, baby has a heartbeat, only to turn around and go to an OB who tells you, yeah, you lost the baby. And on top of that, I have to take these vaginal pills because the baby wouldn't come out of me. It took like a good two weeks, two, three weeks for me to fully let the baby go, like body-wise. But it took like a good month and a half for me to be okay with my results. Like even though I knew I was having a miscarriage, like it hit home. It really did. Because like I really thought like, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of naive, so I already thought like, okay, one miscarriage, that's normal. That's normal for everybody to have one miscarriage. Like this next baby's going to be the rainbow baby. And I'm like literally... <coughs> Excuse me. After leaving the hospital, I made a post on my Facebook page. Like, I got my rainbow baby. I'm so blessed. Only for that day or that week to end in a miscarriage. Like, it breaks my heart. And so, like, I don't know. Like, it's crazy. But I ha actually, this is going to sound weird. It might be nasty to y'all. I, I really don't care when nobody thinks. Because, like I said, my biggest regret was not taking those pictures. But I actually still have my pregnancy test to honor both of my miscarriages in here because like you guys don't understand like my first pregnancy I had took four tests because two from two were bought from me because I didn't believe it and then I told my mom and she didn't believe it so she bought two first responses and then for my second one I got uh two regular two two regular ones which was uh this one I don't know if you guys can see that line but it's this one and it's not that one and it's this one. I don't know if you guys can see those lines. Can you guys see them? Yeah. It's that one. And that one. I actually still have these tests because this is like the only thing I have left of those of that of those two pregnancies. Like I lost both of those babies at six weeks, and so I don't care if you judge me. Honestly, I'm keeping these. <laughs> my boyfriend thinks I'm, my fiance thinks I'm crazy for uh, storing them sometimes, but he gets why. He gets you know where my heart's at, and so. Yeah, I, honestly, I just wanted to share my miscarriage story with you guys because I know I'm not the only person that goes through this. And, you know, despite everything, I think it has been a year since my first miscarriage. And it has been because I lost my baby on December 28th, my second baby on December 28th, which is my grandma's birthday. And I'm in June, so six months. It's been six months since, almost six months, so five months and a few weeks since my second miscarriage. And, um... I'm in a way better position. Like, me and my fiancé, we're not trying to conceive, but we're like, you know, whatever happens, happens. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah. But it's crazy because I actually had a dream. Today's the 12th. On the 9th, 9th, 10th, 12th, three days ago, that I was pregnant. I had a dream that I had peed on a stick. I looked at it, and after 10 seconds, I got, I got, um, a positive pregnancy test and that was on June 9th 2020 and it was it was a dream and um so who knows what's in store for me but yeah I really just want to share my story with you guys um this has been like these last this last year has been the toughest year for me with these miscarriages on top of being sick and when I went to the doctor to ask like hey can you test me can we figure out why I'm having miscarriages is my progesterone levels low and she said that she doesn't think it's my progesterone level. She said she thinks it's because I'm a carrier of a brittle bone disease. Like, I have a brittle bone disease called osteogenesis imperfecta. If you haven't watched my video of my story, you probably should go watch it so you can understand my life a little bit better. But, um, yeah, I do have a brittle bone disease, but I do not break any bones anymore. I take treatments. <sighs> I take treatments, and so, yeah. But this is my story. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching.
I hope it helped you. I hope it gave you some confidence, some strength. Because I'm going to keep trying to have a baby. I am going to keep trying until I have my own baby. Like, I'm not going to lie to nobody. I don't care who's watching this. I am not going to lie. I'm going to keep trying until I have my own baby. Despite what a doctor said, what a uh, family member says, what a friend says, what a coach says, what a... But I don't care. I'm going to keep trying to have my own baby because it's something that I, I just really want. But I want it to be at the right time. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe.